Hey everyone, this is Chris from CricketUsers.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up visual voicemail for Cricket Wireless for free. And before I do that, I want to give a shout out to Tap Wireless in Spokane, Washington. They helped us add a new line uh, to our account last night so we could actually demonstrate a fully functional uh, Windows 7 phone on Cricket Wireless. So if you're in that area and you need a anything, please visit Tap Wireless. Again, they're in Spokane, uh, Washington. There's a lot of knowledge within that store, so if you need help, definitely go to them. All right, visual mail. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining that MetroPCS, Sprint, Verizon, whatnot, have uh, visual voicemail. Now, some carriers, I think Sprint, I'm pretty sure Verizon charges for it, but this is a way to set up a visual voicemail for free, really with uh, any carrier that supports uh, call forwarding. Uh, I went to Cricket's website to double check this and it looks like uh, if you have the $45 up plan you can uh, forward uh, voicemails. Pretty much uh, you need to set up call forwarding so that Google's service can handle all of your voicemails. Uh, this is a uh, network code that you use and it's called call forwarding no answer which essentially is what uh, voicemail is doing it's answering when you don't answer uh, this network code is star seven four followed by the ten digit number that you want your calls forwarded to and to turn this off you just dial star seven four zero uh... one thing to note uh... to keep costs down cricket wireless only allows you to forward to local phone numbers so you won't be able to forward to anything out of your area you might be able to forward to something uh, in your area with a different area code but like if you live in Houston and you're trying to forward it to a Dallas number it's not gonna happen um, we can show you what happens when you try to forward it out of your area let's see This is one of our numbers, um, 904 Cricket. Put on speakerphone. The feature code you've entered is not valid. So it says the feature code that we've entered is not valid. Another thing, if you're on a flash phone and you're using one of the forums uh, hybrid, PRLs so that you can work in tri-band areas and just more areas in general uh, so you can use uh, Sprint Towers when you need to. Uh, you won't be able to use any of the network codes. That's star 611, star 228, or any call forwarding uh, code. Also, I don't recommend using star 228 on a flash phone in general unless you're trying to update your PRL and then you're going to uh, do some other manual edits to make sure that uh, nothing's been changed in your phone. Uh, that will uh, pretty much mess up your flash. So if you already got the phone flashed by someone else, I would never dial star 228. Anyways, um, like I said, you have to be on a normal uh, Cricket PRL. Uh, we put a normal Cricket PRL back on this phone just so we could do the call forwarding. Um, we did that with this phone and then we went back to a hybrid one. Now let's try to forward it to a uh, local number. We're in Austin, so 512 is local. There's another Google Voice number. So you'll hear some beeps, and then it will say, ended. Uh, this means that pretty much it's done what you want it to do. It's forwarding uh, your voicemails now. Now let's test call it on this phone. Uh, this is a brand new account and voicemail has not been set up through Cricket. So if we got the Cricket voicemail, it'd probably say like this voicemail has not been set up, whatever. So if we do reach the Google voicemail, um, it'll definitely have a uh, message there. So let's go ahead and call. Call that one. Good. 
go ahead and ignore that so it'll send it to voicemail. Another thing Google Voice allows you to do is call out using a different phone number, actually using your Google Voice number. So if you don't want to get spam, uh, if you're worried about callbacks, you can uh, give people uh, your Google Voice number instead of your real number. So all you need to know really is this was a success. Uh, we'll show you what the Android app looks like for Google Voice. They have a third party that has developed a application called Go Voice, which does just about the same thing. Uh, you can see your text messages, uh, your voicemails if you have any. And next we'll look at the app that Google developed for the Android operating system. Google Voice's voicemail system definitely has a couple improvements over traditional voicemail. It allows you to check your voicemails in a traditional way if you don't have a good data connection. You can just call uh, your Google Voice number and listen to your messages there uh, by entering a PIN or you can set it up to where uh, it'll recognize your phone number calling and automatically give you your voicemails. Um, a visual voicemail, instead of listening to all your messages, you can select individually which one you want to listen to. If you have a data connection, you can play them. Now we'll check out the uh, uh, Android app. It automatically which is tries to transcribe the message. On the Android uh, market that'll kind of give you any, uh, a general Android idea, phone. maybe, of why the person Google is Voice is an uh, improvement calling you. over traditional um, voicemail. It's really good at transcribing phone numbers. Uh, so if you want to call them back, or if they left a different phone number to call them back at, or an extension, you can see that. Uh, also, you can rewind instead of playing the whole message over again, and then you can delete individually which one uh, you don't want anymore. Uh, you can keep an archive of all of them. So if you have any more questions, we'll post up a uh, tutorial on our forum at www.cricketusers.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, see the latest things we're working on, and also go to our Facebook page and like it. It's www.facebook.com forward slash cricket users.